Hi, my name's Chloe. I'm 28 and I've been a C4 to 5 incomplete quadriplegic since I was 17. This video might be confronting to some people. I'm going to be talking about my miscarriage, my injury, and my recent cancer scare. So if any of this stuff bothers you, please click away now. On New Year's Eve 2007, I got drunk and fell off a roof. I broke multiple bones, I damaged my spinal cord, and I suffered a brain injury. A few weeks prior to this, I found out that I was pregnant from a drunken one night stand. And the next part of this story, I am in no way trying to justify. I'm not proud of it, and I don't think this way now. So please take that into consideration. Before I found out I was pregnant, I was sort of in a downward spiral of destruction, so to speak. I was drinking excessively, I was smoking, I was doing everything that I shouldn't do. And when I found out that I was pregnant, I did not want to keep the baby. I did not want to be pregnant. And I was doing anything I could to get rid of the baby. I'm not proud of this now. And if I was in that same situation now, I would not do the same thing. None of my friends or my family knew that I was pregnant. I was the only person who knew. I was trying to figure it out on my own. I was panicked, I was scared, and I felt like I didn't have anybody to talk to about this. I thought it was like getting the flu. You could just get rid of it, but that's not what happened. But in the end, I got my wish, but not the way that I hoped. I was placed under an induced coma and my unborn baby died after five weeks. And that was how my parents found out. While I was unconscious, in a coma, they found out that I was pregnant, but they found out straight after that I'd lost the baby. I wasn't sad about this. And still to this day, the father of this baby doesn't know. There's only one person who knows who that person is. But the said father now is married with kids, so he doesn't need to know any of that stuff. It was in a time when I was... I sort of hit rock bottom to a degree because I felt like I was invincible. But it turns out I wasn't because Superman can't really fly because when I fell off that roof, I couldn't remember it for a long time, but recently I've started to get memories back from that night and not something I really want to remember. When I had my accident, it killed me and it killed my unborn baby, but I didn't want to be a parent, but then again, I didn't want to be a quadriplegic when I was 17. But I've now dealt with this for the last 11 years, so you get what you get, right? I've been through a lot in the last 11 years after my injury. I now live by myself and I have a cat that I take care of, but that's the extent to how much I want to be a parent. I have never really felt the desire to want to have kids. And even though I don't mind kids, I've got a friend who I've known for about 19 years who now has a little boy and a little girl. They're adorable and I love them, but she can keep them. <laughs> I in no way want kids. But then we get to that question, can I have kids? So for anybody who's watching that really wants to know, if you have had a spinal cord injury, you can still have kids. It depends on how severe your injury was. If you've damaged your reproductive organs, you probably can't. But if it's just a spinal cord injury, there's no reason why you can't have kids. And that was what I found out when I was in rehab. The two big things that came up a lot were, can I have sex and can I have kids? And the answer to both is yes. I can still have sex and I can still have kids the normal way, but I don't want kids. And that gets me into the scary part and the reason why I'm making this video. And that is my recent cancer scare. I've been getting pap smears since I was 18. And it wasn't till I was about 24 that my pap smear results started coming back as irregular. And I was getting them yearly, but after that I got them every six months or so. And every time the results came back, 
they came back as inconclusive or not quite right. And my last pap smear came back as stage one cervical cancer. Stage one, thankfully, is not cancer, but it's irregular cells that is leading to cancer. And cancer is a big thing in my family. I have an auntie who's had cancer about four or five times. I have another auntie who has just gotten over breast cancer and now she's in remission. My dad and his two brothers have all had skin cancer. So cancer being a big thing in my family, there's a higher chance of me getting it. I recently had an internal ultrasound of my cervix and my uterus and all of that stuff and even the lady who did the ultrasound said that it did not look normal and she had done them thousands and thousands of times before me. After so many inconclusive results to my pap smears, I spoke to my gynecologist doctor about possibly getting a hysterectomy and I won't find out until next week if I will be put on the waiting list to have a hysterectomy. Because cancer is such a big thing in my family, I would prefer to get my cervix out rather than take the risk of getting cancer. I do not want to go through that. And right now I just have irregular cells and I don't want it to get worse and I don't want it to start to spread. So I really hope that my doctor is going to agree to do the hysterectomy. Not that I'm looking forward to surgery because I hate surgery, but I don't want anything that's down there. They're gonna take out all of my reproductive organs except for my ovaries so that I don't have to go on hormone replacement therapy after that. But I found out that I can donate my womb, which is pretty cool because that was one of the things that I asked my doctor, can anything in me be donated? Unfortunately, none of my reproductive organs can be donated, but my womb can. If someone's going through IVF, they can impregnate her and put the womb in, she carries the baby to term, they do a C-section and they take the womb out. And that's pretty cool if I can help somebody else have a baby that I don't want. Because I've heard the debate so many times, just because I have a cervix and a uterus and a womb and a vagina that I should have kids. You don't have to have kids if you don't wanna have kids. Sometimes it just happens. And now if I was to get pregnant by accident, there's no way I would give it up. I would still have the baby. But me, no, I don't want kids. I don't wanna to have to deal with it. I don't wanna to have to raise another me. I was a terror as it was when I was a kid, so I don't want another me running around. If you have any questions or you just wanna say hi, please write it in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next week.